Your entire preparation depends on two papers, that is English essay and English composition. And if you don't properly work, if you don't do your homework before appearing in the exam, there is a very thin likelihood of you are getting through this exam. So, keeping in view the importance of English grammar and composition and also keeping in view the needs and requirements of the candidates who are coming from far flung areas, who don't have access to English teachers, who don't have sufficient resources to go and join academies or to hire English teacher. I am going to offer this work free of cost to all of them. I am available on my phone number, email address and I will provide free of cost consultancy to all the aspirants, all the needy aspirants, young candidates and especially the people from the backward areas must also prepare themselves and uh, my all support is with them. Hello viewers, welcome to Virtual Sales Service Academy by Lady Lama and my today's talk is on parts of speech. It's an important component of English grammar and composition and uh, learning of parts of speech is key to learning of English language. If you are able to comprehend all the parts of your speech in a decent way, you are going to have a mastery over English language, especially the grammar and composition part. Viewers and aspirants, English grammar and composition paper is a very important paper in any competitive exam like CSS, ECS, ICS and other competitive exams. And English paper has great significance because your entire preparation depends on two papers that is English essay and English composition and if you don't properly work if you don't do your homework before appearing in the exam there is a very thin likelihood of you are getting through this exam so keeping in view the importance of English grammar and composition and also keeping in view the needs and requirements of the candidates who are coming from far flung areas, who don't have access to English teachers, who don't have sufficient resources to go and join academies or to hire English teacher. I am going to offer this work free of cost to all of them. I am available on my phone number, email address and I will provide free of cost consultancy to all the aspirants, all the needy aspirants, young candidates and especially the people from the backward areas must also prepare themselves and uh, my all support is with them. So guys, today I am going to speak on parts of speech. Uh, this is basically a very introductory talk just to apprise the students, apprise the young candidates about parts of a speech, their importance and how and what should be the methodology to get mastery of this important component of parts of a speech of grammar and how you can learn these. So if you are newcomer, if you are new visitor to my channel, you can see my different talks on essay, pressy, composition, preparation for a competitive exam and also I have started series of talks on grammar and composition for the young aspirants, beginners and the candidates who lack resources and who are not able to find good teachers in their areas because of financial resources. So aspirants before this talk I have a basic talk on sentence and its kinds, phrase and class and their position. You have not went to my channel and watched the video you can subscribe and go and watch that video so that you may get an idea. This is second talk of series of grammar and composition and now I will be telling you about the parts of speech. Basically whatever we write, whatever we speak, we speak in words and sentences. The words used in sentences belong to different parts of speech. The basic objective of using all those words and sentences is to communicate your idea, communicate your thought, communicate your philosophy, whatever you want to communicate to your reader, to your teacher. It is going to make an impression of your personality. If you are writing in a poor English which is filleted with lot of mistakes, 
your impression you are leaving a very poor impression on your listener on your reader on the audience who are listening you so in order to write and speak proper language one has to command and one has to get conversant with the uh, rules of grammar because if you are if you are learning english as a second language you must have firm command over the rules of grammar because in english composition paper you have to answer some questions which are very much technical and for solution of those questions you have to get mastery of rules of grammar you must be familiar with all the rules and best way to get command over rules of language is to learn about grammar rules and begin your studies from the start so that you know each and everything i have already spoken on sentence and phrase video is available on my channel and now i will be speaking on parts of speech so different components of sentence belong to different parts of speech and in order to understand those different parts of speech it is necessary that you must know the entire definition of those parts their rules formation of uh, things and that much more so there are eight parts of speech english grammar and composition has eight parts of speech and the entire communication and uh, composition belongs to one or more than one form of these parts of speech so first of all there is noun pronoun adjective adverb verb preposition conjunction and interjection these eight parts are used in written and verbal communication and while you are making a statement you are writing certain thing on paper or you are doing verbal communication you must know each and every word because you are responsible for each and every word and you have to prove that you have been through all this process and you have got firm command over each and every part of his speech now what what is the strategy to learn these things the basic strategy is that you must memorize you must learn not necessarily by rote or cram learning you have to also comprehend all these things these are very simple and basic things you have to memorize definition of noun or make a definition of noun by yourself it is even better idea if you make a definition of noun yourself then you must know the kinds of noun what are the kinds of noun and how these nouns are formed what is a noun gender what is genitive case what is accusative case and what is noun gender these are the things that you have to learn slowly and gradually and then you have to learn about pronoun what is pronoun why pronoun is used and how many kinds of pronouns are there and uh, which are used for asking questions which are used for persons and why pronoun is substitute for noun and what is its importance similarly you must know the adjective its definition and uh, what is adjective and uh, how many kinds of adjectives are there this is very critical thing and you must learn this because you have to solve a 100 marks question paper then there is verb verb is a big subject it is an important part of speech you must know definition of verb and uh, you must learn tenses and uh, you must know how different verbs are formed and what are their degrees verb is an important part of speech and it is frequently used in study of tense like if you are studying present tense you must know what are the four types of present tense if you are studying past tense you must know the what are those four types of past tense likewise you must know about the four types of future tense you also know these and you also know the basic verb basic rules basic helping verbs of these tenses like you must know what is present indefinite tense you must know what is present continuous tense you must know what is present perfect tense and you must know what is present perfect continuous tense likewise 
you must know about past tense past continuous tense past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense likewise you may also learn similarly about the different categories of future tense if you get firm command over these you will be able to write a proper and good english and you must also know which form of verb is to be used in present indefinite tense past indefinite tense and future indefinite tense this is the thing that you must know and these are the things which i will be explaining in detail in my coming talks for today this is just basic talk for you and the idea is to let you know sensitize you that the importance of grammar is immense for candidates for students for young boys and girls who are trying to learn english and who are trying to prepare for competitive exam to make a place for themselves in civil bureaucracy and make their parents make their friends make their social circles proud so then then there is preposition you must know what is preposition what are kinds of preposition which preposition should be used and what is the basic function and definition of a preposition preposition is a key part of a speech and you have to also get mastery over this if you don't understand the logic of preposition you would be putting wrong prepositions which would give a very poor impression of your personality on investigator on examiner on your teacher on your friend and they will make a sport of you they will laugh at you that you are the guy who have come for competitive exam but you don't know use of prepositions so use of appropriate preposition in written and spoken english shows your personality and shows your great great and mastery over rules of grammar and composition and you must have in mind importance of preposition it is very important after noun pronoun verb and adjective preposition is very important part of a speech and you have also to get firm command over this a part of his speech then there was adverb what is adverb what is the definition of adverb what are kinds of uh, adverbs what is adverb how it is used adverb modifies or governs which kind of parts of his speech what is adverb of time what is adverb of place what is adverb of manner what is their position how adverbs are used and where should be placed as per rules of grammar and composition adverbs also adds to the beauty of verb adverb and are adjective and you must know where when and how to use adverbs you must know adverb of number adverb of quality each and everything should be you are at tips if you are things are not at your tips you will have to suffer you will have to waste your time because you are given only 3 hours to solve english composition paper but if you don't know if you have not gone through the um, rules of grammar if you you have not invested your precious hours in study of rules of grammar you are going to waste your precious time in exam and you won't be able to complete your paper within the given time so it is a time to invest your time in learning of, of rules of grammar and the best way is to get mastery over parts of a speech and i have spoken on few of them then there is interjection interjection is part of a speech in which we express certain feelings and it is very critical it is very simple and you can get mastery over interjection in a day or two you can you would be able to make sentences which show certain feelings of joy sorrow surprise or express your feelings in a suitable way then then there is part of speech which is known as conjunction conjunction is used to connect words or sentences and its use gives a logical connection to the spoken or verbal language this is very important i hope that i have been able to convey you the importance of learning of parts of speech once again i am going to wind up this discussion and let you know that what did we learn today we learned about eight parts of speech that's noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition interjection and conjunction 
these are eight parts of this speech and each has its own detailed study which on which i will be speaking in coming few days like in coming talk i will exclusively be speaking on uh, noun its uh, kinds noun number noun gender possessive case and how these are found what are the rules for making numbers what are the typical rules for learning of these kind of things and what is difference between proper and common noun what is difference between abstract and collective noun what kind of words are used and why these are the things that you have mastered over, over them and i'm sure that this talk is going to sensitize you about the importance of parts of speech and their role in learning of language so guys i believe that you will further study at your home and try to practice try to practice try to practice make multiple sentences try to make definitions of part of speech yourself on the basis of study you have done because your own language your creativity is much called for in competitive exam and if you are creative if you can make definition yourself and you if you can memorize the rules if you know the way towards grammar is gateway to language right and you have to go through this gateway and the best way to learning language is to enter through gateway and the best way is to learn grammar i hope you would follow my instructions if you follow the instructions you will be able to achieve success and your success would bring happiness not only for me but for your friends your family and your inner circles thank you very much i would now request you to please subscribe uh, virtual civil services academy if you have not subscribed and also share with all the needy aspirants and uh, potential our candidates who are preparing for css who are new who are beginner and want guidance free of cost i am available i have given my number here email address you can get free of cost assessment by sending me the emails or communicating me on my whatsapp thank you very much take care bye